Hey guys, welcome to Tech Academy. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a new activity. So let's get started. First, create a new project and delete this hello world text view. So select it and click on delete. What we are going to do here is we'll create a new activity and we'll assign one button here. Whenever user will click on that button, the new activity will open up and the new activity will contain a text view like a welcome or your new activity has started or whatever you want. So we'll create one new activity. So right click on this layout folder and click on new XML layout XML file and name it display. Click finish. This is the new activity display.xml and whenever you create a new activity it needs a java file also. So open this java folder. Here is the main activity. So just right click on it click on new java class and name it display. You can name it anything you want and hit ok. So first we will create a button here in the activity main.xml so drag the button here double click on it and set the text I'll set it to display and assign one id to it I'll write b display b for button and we need to assign on click value for our button so just find on click property here and you can write on button click or you can write uh, you can make it anything you want after that we'll open the display.xml we'll add one text view so just drag a large text here so this is the large text double click on it and write welcome or we can write our new act activity has started you don't need to assign any id to it because we won't change it now open main activity dot java file and here you can see that it extends action bar activity whenever you create an activity you need to extend your java class to activity class so open display.java and here write extends activity and it will get imported import android.app.activity here we need to create on create bundle you can just copy it from here just the first one protected void on create And when you'll copy it, select this android.os.bundle and click OK. And here, this is the activity name or XML file name. So here we need to change it to display and save it. Now, whenever you create a new activity, you need to modify manifest file. You need to list it into the manifest file. So just open it, android manifest.xml. And here you can see that this is our main activity which is already present which is a launcher activity and for listing one more activity just write activity name is display and close it like this. So we have listed our new activity in manifest file so that it won't give an error. Now go to activity main.xml this is the display button so now we need to make change in our java file that is main activity.java where we'll write what this button will do so open main activity.java and create a method write public void void is the return type and here write on button click 
like this. This is the structure of our method. This is the return type. This is the method name. These brackets will contain the parameters or arguments and this is the method body. So this will contain view, object of view class and for that we need to import something. For that you can write import android.view.view here capital V. This error will get solved. Now we will check if the id of view matches with the button id. So for that write if v.get id is equal to r.id.b display. If it matches with the button id, we are going to start our new activity. To start the new activity, we need to make an object of intent class. So write intent i is equal to new intent. To solve this error, we need to import android.content.intent. Now this error is resolved. Here intent will get two parameters. First is the context. For that you can write this or we can also write main activity dot this comma the second one will be the class name of our new activity that is display dot class not java dot class and now write start activity and here write i the name of our intent object now we'll run this project and test it so click on this run button Choose the running device. If you don't know how to create an AVD, then I have made a little tutorial on that. The link for that tutorial will be in the description bar below and it will also be on the screen. Now it is uploading the file on our emulator and it is installing. It has launched our application on the emulator. So open the emulator. This is our activity demo application. Click on display button. And our new activity has started. So it is working. This is how you create a new activity. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to create a login form. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Bye.